What's going on? Guardians of Chore Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be covering every single gear piece in the King's Fall Raid. But before I get started with this, if you could, please remember to leave a like and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with your old rifle. It'll be much appreciated, everybody. In this video, I literally cropped out each gear piece from Destiny Database, and also cropped out the perks that are known so far on the gear pieces. Not gonna lie, I definitely spent a lot of time cropping these out, so once again, it'll be much appreciated if you could leave some support by liking and or sharing the video. But, let's get on with this. To start off, I'm gonna go over the Warlock gear, starting with the Mouth of Yur, which is the helmet for the Warlock, and as you guys see, the description reads, for the more light the worms consume, the hungrier they become. And infuse and reforge armor is on every single gear piece. Infuse, what that does is consume a more powerful piece of armor to boost the defense value of this armor. And reforge armor is obvious, it changes the stats and upgrades available on this armor. Anyways, for the perks that are known so far that will be on this helmet, will be Shine On, which what this does increases the super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. And also Take That. Or pickups create the chance for temporary bonus precision damage to Taken. Which, in case you guys don't know what those are, will be the new type of enemies that we'll be facing in the Taken King. And next up is the Harrowed Mouth of Year. And Harrowed would also be on every single gear piece as well. There's actually two versions. Regular and also Harrowed. At this present time, it's not exactly clear on how we're going to be getting this Harrowed version. It could be the difficulty level that you complete the raid, or some other element of the King's Fall Raid that we're not exactly aware of yet. Anyways, the Harrowed Mouth of Year seems like it's the same thing. I'm sure it's going to be stronger though, or some different kind of use than the regular version. But it has the same perks as you guys can see, Shine On and Take That, and also the same description. Up next for the Warlock is the chess piece, the Chasm of Yule. And the perks that are known on this bad boy so far is Mortal Medicine, which as you guys can see, it gains a boost to recovery per grenade kill, and it stacks for 20 seconds. And the next perk is Old God's Boon, which what that does is it increases the armor while carrying the King's Fall Relic. And in the description of this chess piece reads, a clue of writhing things there was also on that cusp between light and darkness. Anyways, as you guys can see, here is the Harrowed Chasm of Yule. And this thing looks sweet, I gotta say. But once again, this has the same thing as the regular Chasm of Yule that I can see so far, but I'm sure it's gonna be different. But anyways, as you guys can see, it has the same perks as well. Mortal Medicine and also Old God's Boon. Up next, I have the Gauntlets for the Warlock, which they are called Graps of Air. And the description of these gauntlets read, At the beginning, they stood in thrall of the Formless One, and they offered themselves to its death. And the perks that are known for these gauntlets so far, starting with Glutton, receive bonus melee energy for each enemy standing nearby you when you get a kill, and also Buddy System, faster weapon reload while in an Aurora. And here is the Harrowed version, once again, it has the same perks, so can't really explain how it's going to be different, but overall I do know it's going to be somewhat different. I mean, they have a regular version and a Harrowed version. Not exactly sure what's going to be different about these, besides that they look different so far, once again. I'm not exactly sure on how to pronounce the leg armor for the Warlock, but as you guys can see, it reads Path of XOL. Not exactly sure on how to pronounce that XOL word. Maybe Zol? I don't really know. I tried to look up how to pronounce it too, and it didn't really have much on the pronunciation for it. But anyways, as you guys can see, the description for this leg armor reads, Bound together. Their power knows no limit. Save their thirst for more. And the perks that are known for these warlock boots so far are Fists Flying, Gain a boost to agility per melee kill, and the perks name, you guys will notice that these also are very similar to every other gear piece for every other class. Anyways, what Run For Your Life does, it increases your agility while torn between dimensions. Now that sounds pretty interesting. And here is the Harrowed version, gotta say they look pretty sweet, the black and red looks noise. Looks noise. Okay, anyways, up next I have for you guys the Titan King's Fall gear. Starting with the War Newman's Crown, and the description for this Titan helmet reads, Show them you can contain multitudes, and your interiority will spawn nightmares. And the perks on this helmet, as I mentioned before, the perks are similar to every other gear piece for every other class. But anyways, I'm still going to go over them since I did already crop them out. As you guys can see, Shine On, increase super energy gained from killing minions of the darkness, and also take that once again. Or pickups create the chance for temporary bonus precision damage to Taken. And here is the Harrowed version, looks freaking awesome. The green with black, I'm not exactly sure if this is confirmed how it's going to look like, but I have to say, if this is exactly how it looks like, it definitely looks pretty sweet in my opinion. The green definitely looks different. Once again, I can't really tell you how different this Harrowed version is going to be compared to the War Newman's Crown, because... So far, they all look very similar. I mean, they have the same perks, 
and also the same description. But anyways, up next I have you guys a Titan chess piece which is called War Newman's Chest, and the description of this bad boy reads, Death is the game, and the game is always death. Huh, okay. And the perks for this, once again, it's going to be the same thing as the Warlock, Mortal Medicine, Gain and Boost to Recovery per Grenade Kill, and also this stacks for 20 seconds, and once again, Old God's Boon, Increased Armor while carrying the King's Fall Relic. And here's the Harrowed version, I have to say this also looks pretty freaking sweet. It seems like the Harrowed version looks cooler than the original version, but that's just my opinion. Once again, I don't know for sure if this is what it's exactly going to look like, but hopefully it does. And also, once again, it has the same perks, Mortal Medicine and Old God's Boon. Okay, up next is the Titan Gauntlets, which is called War Newman's Fist. And the description for these bad boys read, the start is always the same. Enter his court and call him out. Hmm, I wonder who they're talking about. And the perks for these Titan Gauntlets are Glutton, which as I mentioned before, they're going to be the same for every class. I mean, I don't really know why I'm going over these perks for you guys. I guess I'm just making it more clear for you all. Anyways, as you guys can see, Glutton, receive bonus melee energy for each enemy standing nearby you when you get a kill. And also we have the buddy system once again, faster weapon reload while in an Aurora. Here is the harrowed version of these gauntlets. Once again, it's adding that green detail, which I have to say definitely looks nice. It's like a light neon green. I like the way it looks. Up next for the Titan is the War Newman's Boots, and a description reads, Speak, and the darkness obeys. Command, and a song turns upon itself. The perks for these boots are the same as the Warlock, but once again, I'm going to go over them. Fist flying, gain a boost to agility per melee kill, and this stacks for 20 seconds. And also, run for your life! Increased agility while torn between dimensions. I have to say, that description definitely sounds interesting. And here are the harrowed version of those bad boys. Alrighty, that's all of them for the Titan. Now, lastly, the Hunter. Starting with the helmet, which is called Dark Hollow Mask. And the description for this helmet reads, The Dreadnought is a blighted hollow gouged into our universe. Said by Eris Moore. The perks for this so far that is known is going to be the same as all the other classes, starting with Shine On once again, increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness, and also take that! Or pickups create the chance for temporary bonus precision damage to Taken. Sorry I have to keep repeating myself here guys, I'm just trying to make it clear on what's going to be coming to us. Anyways, up next here is the Harrowed version, and I have to say, DAGGONE, this thing looks awesome! I just love the green touch that they add on the Harrowed version. Once again, I'm not exactly sure on how we're getting the Harrowed version, but still, I have to say, they look nice. Up next is the Hunter chess piece called Dark Hollow Chitin, and the description for this chess piece reads, Heartless and cruel is their realm, but in some ways more malleable than your own. Said by Eris Moore. And the perks for this chess piece, once again, is Mortal Medicine, and I'm not going to read the description for this, you should know what Mortal Medicine does. And also Old God's Boon, which you should also know what that does by now. Here is the Herod version, which once again is looking pretty freaking nice. Anyways, up next is the Hunter Gauntlets called Dark Hollow Grasps. And the description for these gauntlets read, All the vastness of our universe is but a blank page on which they scrawl their words of hate and death. Said by Eris Morn. And the perks on this once again is Glutton and Buddy System. Here is the harrowed version of the Dark Hollow Grass. Once again, the perks are the same and the description is the same, in case you guys are wondering, why aren't you going over the harrowed versions? I want to know what they do. Well, it seems so far that they are the same, pretty much. But I'm sure they're going to be put to use differently than the regular versions. Up next is the boots for the Hunter out of the King's Fall Raid, which they are called Dark Hollow Treads. And the description for these booties read, even now, the daughters of Oryx weave black words of blight to blind his realm to ours. Said by Eris Moore. Once again, here are the perks that are known so far. Fist is flying, gain a boost to agility per melee kill, stacks for 20 seconds, and also run for your life! Increased agility while torn between dimensions. And lastly, here are the harrowed version of the Dark Hollow Treads. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! But that's wrapping up all the armor gear that's going to be in the King's Fall Raid. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this sneak peek at it. Once again, I can't really go over how exactly these are going to play out and also what else is going to be on these because a lot of the perks are actually unknown. I'm not exactly sure if they're just going to be upgrade defense for those perks or if they're going to be something else added into them that we don't exactly know yet. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, if you could, please remember to leave a like and or share the video. I'm out of here though, everyone. Remember to stay safe, Guardians. This has been your rifle. Hopefully I see you guys in my next Destiny video. Peace out. Is to actually be the Super Saiyan and show you your part of it. Just wasn't right. He had something missing. Just one little touch, he could have had it. One little touch. I really looked into it. And you know what the trick is? You gotta be the Super Saiyan to actually be the Super Saiyan.